In the previous tutorial, we have created this red planet. The link is in the video description in case you need it. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a moon and make it move around this planet on a continuous basis. So, let us first turn on the solid view mode, and to clean up the viewport, let us hide this planet for now. The first thing would be to create the moon. So, add one UV sphere from the add menu. You can resize it if you need, let us make it half in size by pressing S.5 and enter. And let us add some material for our moon, just to have a proper look. We will add some bump for this material, so let us go to the shader editor. This is absolutely not important. You can easily skip this part as we are just working on the look and feel, or the aesthetic side. We have added one noise texture here, and one bump node. We will now connect them to our material, so that we have some uneven surface. Just some minimum setup. Okay. So, this will be our moon. Let us now focus on the actual job. Press 7 on the number keypad to go to the top view mode. From the add curve menu, add one bezier circle. Resize the circle as per your requirement, we will enlarge it by 3.5 times. Before we proceed further, there is one important step which is actually simple, but critical. The moon should have its center at the world origin, no transformation in any direction. It is possible that you might have accidentally displaced the moon from its original location, maybe like this. There is an easy way to bring it back, or reset its location. Just press Alt-G on your keyboard while the moon is selected. It will ensure the moon is back to the world origin. After that, go to this object constraint tab. Then, add a new constraint of type follow path. Then in the target object, select the bezier circle we have added. You can see that the moon is now automatically placed on the circle. We have to do two more things. First, select this follow curve option. Then click on this animate path button. You may not see any visible change, but clicking on this button adds the necessary modifiers to the bezier circle behind the scenes. Clicking on it multiple times may bring this warning, but no worry, there is no harm clicking on it several times. The basic animation setup is now done. Let us play the animation to verify it. That looks cool. The moon is now moving around on the circular path exactly as we wanted. So, it is now time to bring back our planet, which we hid in the beginning. Another important thing is, if you want to control the speed with which our moon or this satellite circles around the planet, select this bezier circle, and go to the curve tab. Then scroll down to this section called path animation. The number of frames decides how long it takes to complete one full revolution. A higher number will slow down the moon and a lower number will increase its speed. Let us make it 150, for example. You can also modify the shape and size of the bezier circle at this point. Just for example, let us tilt it by changing its rotation value around the y-axis. We can turn on the rendered view mode to see the effect along with the light and shadow. Now, go to the start of the animation and play it. That looks nice. But, our moon is revolving in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation. If you want to change its direction, just select the bezier curve or the circle and switch over to the edit mode. Now, go to the segments and select switch direction. That's it. Back to the object mode, we can turn off the overlays just to make a better visual. Now play the animation again. So, that was today's tutorial. You might have noticed that the resolution of the visual is quite pixelated here, it is grainy. That is because we are just in the preview mode. This will look far better in your actual rendered output. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.